Welcome Space Traveler. Today we will talk about size class, what it is, why is it important or not, and what you can do with it info. So what is size class? It is a stat that shows up in your builds detail page and it has actually quite little to do with the geometrical size of the build. And we for Schieden this we name to complexity, which is a bit closer to what it actually does. The most accurate description would probably be a performance impact of some sort. You can find the size class in the blueprint menu or the P menu. Now I said size class is performance impact. This means how hard is it for the game to render your build. This has to do with a few factors which are shown in your stat menu too. Like how many lights you got, devices and triangles. It is important to note that LCTs, to be specific, what is displayed on them is not counted towards that. But they still have a real performance impact, so too many LCDs can still cause problems and crash your game or have a very high impact on how slow or fast something renders. Why is size class important? If you're playing solo, it will probably be no issue at all. If you're on the server, you will most likely run into size class limitations, like certain size class builds are allowed and some are not. If you build POIs, you need to stay in certain size class limits for the POIs. If you want Alien to consider them for the base game. The list of these um, ranges I will link in the description. How to reduce size class. Most of the build tips that can impact size class when building in a large degree are related to triangle count. The light and the device count is fairly self-explanatory. Less lights means less size class. Less devices and things means less size class. For triangles, this is not as intuitive at first. Before we get into this in more detail, let's talk about triangles a bit more. What are triangles? Triangles are the basic building blocks of our 3D models. Each shape consists of surfaces, which in turn consist of triangles. As a more complex example, let's look at a circle. If we build it out of blocks, you have a bunch of surfaces similar to 3D models. Every block we place consists of triangles. As a general rule, the more complex the block, the more triangles it has. The hallway blocks or round blocks have a higher triangle count than normal blocks with straight edges or surfaces. Depending on the block shapes, this can change too. So there are definitely ways to reduce the triangle count if you pick a certain block type and shape over another one. As a general rule of thumb, I would say, Avoid the more complex looking blocks, avoid round blocks, railings and windows and you're generally fine and will have a lower triangle count and therefore lower size class. Now how to remove triangles if you have already placed blocks. By placing blocks together, triangles or surfaces get removed for the purpose of rendering. This is important to know since depending on how you build, this can reduce your triangle count significantly. You can see this by panning around in God mode inside a build. If you just see the next room or outside, all surfaces are removed for rendering purposes. If not, they are still there. Certain things to keep in mind regarding this is that sometimes the surface gets not removed, even though it should like with half blocks. In this case, it would be better to use other blocks that remove the surface where blocks are placed on another to simply save size class and triangles. In other cases, the rotation of a block does matter and determines if a surface is removed or not, like the 45 degree slope and the full block with the slope. Let's say we want to min-max the size class. If you want to min-max size class to get it very, very low, you have to adapt your build style. 
It is best to think about this from the start and consider block rotations and shaping to build for a lower size class from the start. Try around with blocks that work the best. Sometimes you can find lower size class solutions to your problems. Like the different archways have different triangle counts. Make blocks connect seamlessly to remove surfaces and reduce triangles. Like some half block examples I mentioned earlier. Use stairs instead of elevators or use ramps instead of stairs to even push the size class further down. At the end your best bet is to use texturing to make an otherwise flat and uninteresting shape look better. There are a few tools that can help you building for size class. For example one is the size class calculator on the HVS side by Rexus. You can find that one here. You type in your lights, devices and triangles and get some breakpoints on what you reduce to reach a lower size class. This can be useful if you want to min-max things and see if it's even feasible to get to a lower size class. Another good information is the size class calculation. I found this in the Steam discussions and I will link the topic below. The 10 point checklist for POIs for the size class range limits is uh, useful too if you want to build for POIs. I will link the topic in the video description. Min-maxing size class is a bit of a chore to get right. I personally like it, but I understand it might not be for everyone. You can simply stick to some basic stuff and already get the size class for your builds quite a bit lower. Like less lights, less weird hallway blocks and elevators or windows. Just with these few you can get lower size class builds. On a last note it is important that a low size class build does not have to be ugly, but it usually will sacrifice some fanciness to make it fit into the size class you want. With that, good luck on your builds, Space Traveler, and as always, thanks for your time and see ya.